Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Today's video is about some questions related to the nervous system. Let's move to the question number one. One of the following is not the part of spinal cord. As far as spinal cord structure is concerned, it has dorsal horns, ventral horns, central canal, as well as some of the tracts. But association area is a term related to the brain. So delta. Which of these correctly describes the distribution of ions on either side of an axon when it is not conducting a nerve impulse? During resting stage or non-conducting stage, there are more sodium ions on the outer environment, outer side of the neuron, and potassium ions are always higher in the inner side. So alpha is the right option. What happens when a resting neuron's membrane depolarizes? When a resting neuron membrane depolarizes, it means that neurons membrane voltage becomes more positive and there are more positive charges on the inner side and neuron is conducting the nerve impulse. Which of these would be covered by my myelin sheath? Usually, as far as neuron structure is concerned, dendrites, cell bodies, and nissal granules, they are present internally. They are not having myelin sheath or cover, but long axons, they are usually covered by myelin sheath. The molecules which are synthesized in the soma and are stored in axons before release, they are the neurotransmitters, so beta. And a common feature of action potential is that they are triggered by a depolarization that reaches the threshold level, so beta. A spinal nerve takes nerve impulses both to and away from the spinal central nervous system or spinal cord because it has mixed structures or it has a sensory neuron as well as motor neurons in it. So Charlie, which of these are the first and last elements in a spinal reflex? As far as spinal reflex is concerned, the receptor, uh, it starts from the receptors or sense organ and ends at the effector. So beta is the right option, as you can see over here. Where are neurotransmitters receptors located? Neurotransmitter receptors are located on the post synaptic membrane. So right option is Charlie. Injury localized to the hypothalamus would most likely disrupt regulation of body temperature instead of short-term memory, coordination, or executive functions. Synaptic vesicles, they are usually found at the end of axons only in a synapse. And repolarization of an axon during an action potential is produced by outward diffusion of potassium ions. In potassium ions, they move out and the depolarized neurons again polar comes towards polarization. It's called repolarization. And a drug that inactivates acetylene cholinesterase, cholinesterase enzyme. If there is no such enzyme, then there will be more acetylcholine present and it will get more time. So it increases the ability of acetylcholine to stimulate post synaptic membrane. Sympathetic nerve stimulation does not cause the gastrointestinal tract to digest food. You know, there are basic two uh, types of autonomic nervous system, sympathetic as well as parasympathetic. And during sympathetic uh, stimulation, there is more energy required to the muscles as well as uh, other body organs. They are involved in inhibiting the activity of stomach or gastrointestinal tract instead of stimulating it. One of the following cannot be controlled by conscious thoughts. These are autonomic nervous system. Which ma white matter is uh, dash and gray matter is dash. White matter is uh, usually myelinated part and gray matter is unmyelinated part. White matter is composed of axons, comprised of cell bodies and dendrites, and it is found in the CNS, also found in the CNS. Okay, the other options they are also right, so delta is the right answer. Nervous coordination involves specialized cells or neurons linked together directly or via the central nervous system to form network that connects the receptors and effectors. Despite the fact that we experience 
different modalities of sensation now fibers transmit only their message in the form of impulses so beta and the neurons has the capacity to generate and conduct impulses which travel across synapse and pass from the receptors to the effectors how many receptors of pain could be there in an area having 100 receptors for heat we know that uh, if there is one receptor of heat there will be 10 receptors of cold and there will be 270 receptors of pain so if you are having 100 receptors over here you have to multiply it with 270 and you will get 27,000 so right option is delta over here question number 21 many sensory neurons have only one fiber which parts short distance from the cell body as you can see most of the sensory neurons they are in a zero unipolar configuration number 22 Flow of pulse through the nervous system involving dash will be clear if we study an example of reflex arc. That's sensory, motor, and associated neurons. It contains primary sensory areas. Cerebral cortex is the region of the brain which contains primary areas for reception of different sensory impulses. All spinal nerves, they are mixed nerves. And there are 31 pairs, all of them, they are mixed nerves having sensory as well as motor neurons. These are involved in the formation of myelin sheath around neurons of peripheral nervous system. These are Schwann cells, while oligodendrocytes, microglia, they are responsible for the formation of myelin sheath in central nervous system. Most abundant receptors in the body, they are nociceptors. And monosynaptic reflex does not require interneurons because as you can see in the case of knee reflex, only sensory as well as motor neurons, they are directly involved, directly communicating with each other, involving one synapse only. So right option over here is interneuron, that interneurons, they are not involved in case of monosynaptic reflex. Number 28, which of the following is common to all neurons? All neurons, they must have a cell body which contain a nucleus, otherwise myelin sheath, presence of nodes or Schwann cell is not a vital component of all neurons. So alpha, neurons are the cells adapted for rapid transmission of electrical impulses. They have long thin processes called dendrites, or sorry, exons, longer, due to longer structure, they are referred as exons and uh, if there, uh, there is a term that there are thin structures only, we'll prefer dendrites. But over here, due to the more length, we are going to prefer axons at the right as a right option. A dash is a junction between two neurons or between a motor neuron and a muscle cell. It's a synapse. And uh, there are a few terms which are related to the nervous system of peripheral and central part. Bundle of axons or neurons in peripheral nervous system, they are known as nerve. But bundle of axons or neurons in the central nervous system, they form a tract. Cluster of cell bodies in peripheral nervous system, they will form ganglion, while these clusters in central nervous system are known as nuclei. And network of neurons in peripheral nervous system, they form plexus. And in central nervous system, they form reticulum. And the last to terms myelinated fibers they are forming white matter while non-myelinated fibers they are forming gray matter in the central nervous system that was all about nervous system and it's some important points thank you for listening allah face